Brian Kemp is 25,622 votes above the threshold for a runoff election. 25,000 votes of nearly 4 million cast are at issue in this race. By his own admission, there are at least 25,000 outstanding votes and hundreds, if not thousands, of more that we are learning about and discovering every day. Georgians deserve to have their votes counted. The other number is 23,372. That is the number that would move this contest into a recount. It would put it under the 1% threshold. And if we found 23,372 additional votes for Stacey Abrams, we would be in that 1% threshold permitted to not only request a recount, but it would have to be granted by the Secretary of State. That was Stacey Abrams campaign manager Lauren Groh-Wargo with the latest update on the Georgia gubernatorial race. While Brian Kemp has already resigned his post as Georgia's Secretary of State so as to transition into his role as governor, there's a slight problem. He hasn't won yet. Kemp, who oversaw the election he was running in because he values the optics of a functional democracy, is currently leading in the race with 50.3% of the vote. Now, if he drops below the 50% threshold, the race will automatically go into a runoff on December 4th. That means that if Abrams can make up the 25,622 votes, we're in runoff territory. And the Abrams campaign is confident that in addition to the 21,000 provisional ballots, there are thousands of absentee ballots still unaccounted for. The good news is that Kemp is officially out as Secretary of State, meaning that he won't be able to sign off on his own victory. In the meantime, the Abrams campaign will continue to work to ensure that Despite Kemp's best efforts to suppress the voices of Democratic voters at every turn, all of the ballots will be counted. And we believe our chance for a stronger Georgia is just within reach. But we cannot seize it until all voices are heard. And I promise you tonight, we're gonna to make sure that every vote is counted. Every single vote. Every vote can count. Because I'll tell you this, in a civilized nation, the machinery of democracy should work for everyone everywhere, not just in certain places and not just on a certain day.